What's going on guys? We're back in the kitchen. It's been a while and you guys have been watching the podcast. Some of you have been asking for new cooking videos and uh, it's been a little while. So I thought I'd get back in the kitchen and kind of give you guys an idea of how I do things. I know we joke around a lot on the podcast about McDonald's and cheat meals and all this shit. And uh, it's great and all, but 95% of the time, this is how I eat. So I'm gonna give you guys an idea of how I make things taste good so that I don't get sick of my chicken and rice. What we're gonna do today is chicken and rice with a little bit of a twist. And uh, kind of, gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how to make it taste right so that you can enjoy it on a daily basis and you don't get sick of just bland old dry ass chicken. All right, so let's get to it. Uh, we're gonna start with the rice. First thing we're gonna do is I just got regular basmati rice here, okay? Um, what most people don't know is that you need, you should be straining your rice. So, and this is something I also didn't know, but it actually helps take some of the starch off and it's healthier for you. So I have a strainer here. I'm just gonna rinse and shake. And if you look in the sink, you can see all the white starch coming off the rice. After I saw that the first time, I was like, okay, hey, that's gross. Um, so I just like to rinse my rice first, get all that starch and shit off it. Uh, it doesn't take long, just to, I don't know, 30 seconds. You'll see once the water, the water starts to clear up into the rice cooker. Sure you guys all have a rice cooker. You know how to use one, very simple. And I have a, re a weird measuring technique, okay? So the rice is in there. Water goes in and I do one knuckle, if that makes sense. So one knuckle, I check. Is that much water in? The measuring technique is the water needs to be one knuckle. So I put my finger in, measures one knuckle. It's good enough. The rice cooker is a Tiger. People ask me what kind of rice cooker I use. I love this thing. It cooks the rice perfect every time. It takes a little bit longer than normal, but the rice is always good and I just keep it in here like all day long. Put it in, start. Okay, rice is going. Okay, so we'll get the chicken started. First thing we're gonna do is just marinate the chicken for a little bit. You wanna cut off any of that little extra fat and skin and shit, just cut that off, okay? Like all this, like you don't want that. So just take a second. So you're not eating that grisly, nasty fat and skin and whatever it is. And then just chop it up. Doesn't matter how big or small, however you like it. You know, one of the things uh, you guys probably see if you watch the podcast is there are a million different ways to do something, right? I have like one coach will come on and he'll do something like all carbs and no no fats and another coach will come on and say all fats and no carbs and just so many varying techniques to how to reach your goal and one thing i tell people repeatedly is all of those things work um, anything can work if you're consistent with it um, the most important part though is not like trying to find the right coach or the or the the coach's technique that's the most perfect or you know who's the who's the most correct of all the coaches or any of that shit the thing that's actually most important is finding the system that works for you so if you are somebody that does not feel good if you're eating a ton of carbs and no fats um, then that's not the diet for you okay like it doesn't matter if 
God himself came down and said, you have to eat only carbs and no fats and you'll look amazing. If you're miserable doing it every day, it's not going to matter because you're not going to stick to it. So the, the most important system, the most important system that you can do is the one that you're willing to do every single day, day in, day out without fail. And that's why I feel like these people, you know, people that watch the podcast and I try and give people so many different looks and so many different ideas of various coaches so they can find the right. It's not because I think all of those people are right or all those people are wrong. It's just, I want to give people as many, as many options as possible to find a system that works for them, to find the system that they may be happy with. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's really the most important thing. It's not, you know, people ask me, well, what's the best, what's the best system? Who's, who's the best coach? Who's the smartest coach? The reason I went with John Meadows is because he's a little bit more relaxed. He'll say, you know, eat, you know, really clean during the week. Don't cheat, be very diligent. Then have a meal on the weekends and enjoy yourself. Okay. So we're going to marinate this chicken a little bit. We're actually going to measure olive oil. Okay, we're gonna do 10 mils. Okay, some salt. Don't be shy on the salt. Pepper. A little bit of garlic powder, not too much. You don't want to stink in the gym. Um, some oregano. Add a nice flavor. And of course, those of you who know me, know you got to have the Frank's Red Hot. Okay. Then from there, I'm just going to mix it up a bit. Okay, that's ready. We're gonna leave that for a second. And we're gonna start with our vegetables. I'm gonna do a red pepper. Look, the, the vegetables are really arbitrary. It's not, I'm not doing these for any specific reason. Um, pick the vegetables that you like the, the taste of the most. I like red peppers, I like mushrooms, so, and I feel like they're going to go well with the pineapple. Yes, I said pineapple, as some of you, some of you don't like pineapple, freak out with pineapple on pizza and stuff like that. Personally, I love pineapple, so we're going to do... some red pepper, some mushroom. Okay, so we're just gonna heat up both pans. And I know you guys love it when I use the cooking spray, so. A little bit of cooking spray. Red peppers first, because they're gonna take longer to cook. And then we'll get into our mushrooms. There's always a little bit of dirt, some shit on them. So make sure you take a second, just rinse your mushrooms off. Mushrooms are going to cook down, so it might look like a lot, 
It might look like a lot now, but once it cooks down in the pan, it's not really gonna be that much. So add a little bit more than you think is good. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put our chicken in. Come closer, look at this, look at this. Look how good that looks. Oh yeah, that looks good. Get the lemon. First, let's throw these mushrooms in the... And your vegetables. Need a little salt too or they're gonna taste like shit. We'll let those cook down a bit. And then we're gonna add a little bit of after cooking. After it's already cooking, we're gonna add some lemon to our chicken. So this is a, it's for squeezing lemons or oranges. So just drop your lemon in there. That way you, get, you don't get the seeds and shit. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil to our vegetables, mostly for flavor, about a tablespoon. If you're in a contest diet, you're probably not gonna add olive oil to the chicken or olive oil to the vegetables unless it's called for in your diet. Um, but in the off season, a little bit of extra calories is gonna be okay. Uh, so if it makes your food taste good, then go ahead and do it. Now, the last thing we're gonna do and what's gonna make our food taste right is this cup of pineapple. And you don't have to get fresh pineapples. You can get a frozen bag like this. It's just, it's just pineapple. There's no sugar, no nothing in it. Take a cup out, measure a cup out. Just throw it in with our vegetables. We're gonna grill that up a little bit, saute it up a little bit. Okay, so let it sit for two minutes. It should be ready. It doesn't take long. When you cut the chicken up like that, like some people try and cook a whole chicken breast in a pan like that. It's not that you can't, but when you chop it up into little pieces like that, it cooks a lot faster. It cooks a lot more evenly. And you don't end up with like a really dry ass chicken breast because the outside is cooked really good and the inside is still like, you were trying to wait for the inside to cook and it kind of ruined the whole thing. So if you want to cook in a frying pan like this with very little oil, slice your chicken breast or cube it or something like that, and it'll cook a lot faster. All right, guys, really quick, while we're waiting for that to cook, I wanna let you guys know that Hostile Supplements, my brand, is coming out with a new basics line soon. And one of the reasons is I like to add carbs to my pre-workout, my intro workout. Our intro workout, Intro R3, already has carbs in it, but I like to add even more. So, um, and I also wanna to add to my pre, like I said. So we're coming out with a carb powder, it's just carbs, highly branched cyclic dextrin, top of the line carb, best absorption rate, um, the least stomach distress. So we're gonna use that first. A lot of you guys know I have like a sensitive stomach. So that was the carb I wanted to go with. And then some people like to add more creatine to their pre-workout or their post-workout. So we're coming out with a creatine monohydrate. Uh, the creatine monohydrate has the most studies done on it. So that's why we went with that. 
And um, lastly, a glutamine. Glutamine for recovery plus gut health. So we're gonna do a glutamine, probably a fermented version. Um, those are the three basics that we're gonna start with. We're probably gonna add on to that line as time goes, but that's gonna be one of the first things that we, uh, the first three that we start with and we're gonna go from there. Other than that, we got new hoodies coming out. Bodybuilding and Bollocks, the podcast, has some clothing coming out too. Um, so you guys check that out on the website, should be out. By the time you guys see this video, well, maybe not, but very soon after, everything should be out and ready. Okay, the chicken's ready. So what we're gonna do is use our pineapple bowl and we're gonna measure. We're gonna do 200 grams of chicken. Oh, I went over. 201, good. All right, listen, this is what you're gonna do. You take your 200 grams of chicken, you're gonna put it right in the vegetable mix. Okay, this stuff is gonna be left over for another, this stuff is gonna be left over for another meal. This is the stuff we're gonna eat for this meal. Okay, so the reason you put them together is you want, you want the pineapple and the vegetables and all that and the chicken to kinda of all blend together get the flavors to kind of all meld together. So I like to cook them a little bit longer in the pan together. All right guys, so we got the chicken, the vegetables, the pineapple ready. It's just sitting kind of in a pan and I'm waiting for the rice to cook. While the rice is cooking, I'm gonna make breakfast. So we're gonna start with the cream of rice, okay? We're gonna do 130 grams cream of rice. And that is 130. There's like nothing in the, okay. I'm just gonna empty the box. 132. So people ask, oh, how much water do you add? It's up to you. If you like your cream of rice really thick, you're not gonna add a lot of water. If you like it in the middle like me, that's probably a little too much. It's about there. Four and a half minutes. Okay, and we're gonna start our protein portion. Okay, so warm up our pans. See this pan? Special I bought during one of my preps. It's a dumb shit that we buy when we're prepping, huh? All right. A little bit of Pam. I know you guys love Pam, so I have to use it. We're gonna do one cup of egg whites. One cup of egg whites. Two whole eggs. Ah, I hate when the yolk breaks. Motherfucker. Egg yolks in. 100 grams of beef with that. There's 100 grams, okay, 100 grams of beef.
Okay, so this is all cooking now. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna add some salt to our beef. Some pepper. And we're gonna cover that. Okay, so that's the protein portion. I'm gonna do an avocado for some fats. More fats. Okay, cream of rice is done. We're gonna do a little bit of cinnamon and we're gonna do a little bit of liquid stevia and we're gonna add 50 grams of blueberries. There we go. Let's do a nice little flip. Mix this up. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Okay, and then our eggs. We're gonna fold this over. And that's it. And what I'll usually do is add a little bit of no sugar added ketchup. Ta-da! So, this is breakfast on my training days, okay? We have 130 grams of cream of rice, some blueberries, that's our carbs, a little bit of fat from the avocado, a little bit of fat from the egg yolk, uh, a little bit of saturated fat, obviously, in the, in the beef. We have a good amount of protein here. We have eight egg whites. It's 25 grams of protein, I think. We have two whole eggs. There's another 12 grams of protein. Uh, gives us 37. And then we have about, in 100 grams of beef, I think there's about 30 grams of protein, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, we're up around 60, 67 grams. So somewhere between 65 and 70 grams of protein in our meal here. So... It's gonna give us everything we need, the fats, the protein, the carbs, and get us get our day started right and get us fueled for our workout later in the day. Now the chicken, the pineapple, the vegetables, and the rice, that's usually my pre-workout meal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this, and a couple hours later, I'm gonna have the rice with the uh, chicken and the pineapple. That'll get me ready for my workout, and then I'll go train, and then when I come home, I'll probably do a shake with uh, some cereal, and that'll be kind of what I have when I come home. So if you guys don't know, we have the ISO H1. It's our whey isolate. That's what I've been doing post-workout. Usually do it with some Rice Krispies and water, and it's bang on what I need, okay? So uh, that's kind of how my day goes, and then the rest of the meals follow from there. But um, I hope this helps. Okay, that's about it there. And always, I like to always salt my rice. Okay. 
and that's it. So, these are my first two meals, okay? Like I said, this will be my breakfast portion. Wait a couple hours to do some work, do a podcast, whatever I gotta do, come back. That'll be my pre-workout meal. And I'll get on and get in the gym and get killing it. And that's it. And I come home, do the shake and uh, cereal, do the ISO H1 with some cereal and I'm good. So again, guys, just another example of a few things you can do to make your breakfast taste good, make your meals taste good. I hope this helps you guys out. Uh, until next time, check out hostile.com, all our clothing, all our supplements. There's some new stuff coming out soon. Okay guys, until next time, Hostile Nation, train hard, keep killing it, and we will see you guys soon.